Okay, we're going to do a quick and dirty install of Aslan's custom mod pack installer with additional mods um, not included in the Aslan pack. So first thing we need to do is we need to get set up. Um, a lot of people are bitching about the fact that it's forced clean installs as of uh, 4.0.20, which I'm perfectly fine with that. But there's a lot of people that just don't understand how to keep their mods uh, installed or have them be installed automatically because it overwrites the res mod folder after it cleans it out. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to fix that. First, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an example here, my legendary stoner stay high six cents, and I'm going to make a copy of this file. Now this could be any mod that you want to use, not uh, that's not part of Aslan's six cent or Aslan's custom mods. So what we do is we get our file and we're just going to rename it. Okay, and in this particular case, I'm going to rename mine mod2.7z because I have uh, several mods that are installed for me. And once you have your mod file, you just want to go ahead and take that mod file. And this could be any mod that you're using, again, not part of Aslan's. So we're going to go into the World of Tanks folder. And in that folder, you will see Aslan's underscore custom underscore mods. This is where you want to put all of those mod files. So as you can see, I already have five additional mod files that I include in my World of Tanks setup that's not in Aslan's uh, custom mod kit. So this particular one, again, is a Sixth Sense mod. So I'm just going to paste and overwrite my mod to file. Now what this does is after Aslan's installer runs, it checks this folder. And if it sees these mod files, it will install them in the order that they're labeled. So it'll go mod 1, mod 2, mod 3, mod 4, mod 5, all the way up through however many mods that you have. Now, it's important that you know that this can only be .zip or .7z files. .rare files are not supported. Um, I like .7z because it seems to have a little bit better compression. And you can see here this first file is 1.7 gigs. Uh, it's a good file to have uh, for this demonstration. That way you can see exactly where the stuff's being installed. So now that I have my Aslan's custom mod folder set up, uh, taken care of, our next step is to go get Aslan's mod. Uh, basically just go to aslan.com. And once you're there, you'll be in the forum section and downloads and important info. Click that link. You will see the most current version of the Aslan mod installer available. Go ahead and click that link. <coughs> And here you go. Now we have a couple different options here. We have Mirror 1, Mirror 2, and Direct. Um, I always go with Direct. It's going to pop open a Mediafire link. Click the green download box. Depending on your browser, depends on what options you'll get. I use Firefox, just quick save file, and it's going to download. Now what we're doing is I just want to let you guys know that on this page there's a change log. Click the change log. It tells you what is new with that particular version. This is important because you don't always want to spend time installing all your mods over again if you don't need to. So you'll see like an example this earlier mod, updated XVM nightly, and um, you know that might be worth it. Uh, then again, you may not have that updated like in this section here. Uh, so you may not need to if you don't use any of these other mods that were updated. And also, this is the one that is pissing a lot of people off. The uh, installer will always perform clean installs. So you have to use the Aslan's custom mods folder, which I've just previously showed you how to do. So read this. It will save you some time. So once you have your mod pack downloaded, uh, just go ahead and run it. And you may have to browse to your file folder or whatever to find it. Uh, depends, again, on the browser you're using. So I just run mine from Firefox. And we click OK. It's going to pop up. I'm just going to uncheck this. Uh, click Run. And it'll go ahead and start to download all the files that it needs to get started. And then it will bring you to the Welcome to Aslan's setup. Uh, simply click Next. Here gives some information on the license agreement about installation, bug reporting, how to update, how to uninstall and different things like that. Most of you people probably won't fucking read this because, you know, the internet generation is a lot stupider than they used to be. So people just click, click, 
next 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 install and next thing you know they've sold their soul to Microsoft and don't even realize it because it's in the user agreement so sometimes it's important to read that shit this has good information and re read it at least once and then you click next again you'll have the change log information that we just saw on the website if you already know what the change log is you really don't need to read this but it's there just in case you didn't then you'll click next again and you will be to the point where you need to select your world of tanks folder it just so happens mine is c colon backslash games backslash world of tanks you however may feel the need to put it on a different drive you could have f colon backslash fuck this game slash world of tanks for all i know uh, so again it's very important that you point this at the world of tanks folder once you've done that you click next now at this point you will see all of the different mods that are available to you and as you see as I'm scrolling down this particular list in this version there is a shit ton of options uh, do you need every option no do you want every option probably not because many are sub options to the original options uh, just one thing I want to point out here that a lot of people don't seem to know is uh, there's a show description button down here along with a preview uh, image button um, if you don't know what a mod is select it and it'll tell you color scheme color range in the game and mods by Aslan. You can see kind of a little demonstration. I like to use blue versus red myself. Now uh, you will find not every option has this feature. Um, some of them do, as you can click here, you see WebEM's got the icons and things like that, um, but they're not all there. And they don't all give information, but the ones that do, they're there for you. So if you're not sure what they are, check that box first to see if it's got any info. And then you can move on. By the way, just a little, uh, plug as a 4.0.20 Aslan was kind enough to include my uh, angel wing nuke mod give it a shot if you can see here it gives you a little nuclear cloud when the enemy is destroyed and of course your glorious allies will continue to receive the angel wings so once you've uh, gone through all of your mod options and selected the ones that you want to use uh, go ahead and click next now in this particular case I'm using a custom six sense mod which I'm going to show you how to install manually as well so I do not want the six sense settings so I made sure I turn those off um, you know but again it, it depends on your particular setup what you're doing and things like that so since I have my own versions not yet included in the mod I have that system unchecked and I've just verified that everything else I want is there so I'm gonna click next now this is the part again which is pissing a lot of people off the only option is a clean install what that does is delete all the files in your res mods folder and it downloads them and reinstalls them all over again a lot of people run many mods that are not found in Aslan's uh, maybe they're ripoffs of OMC uh, only mods or maybe they're just the original mods from the editor and author themselves that they enjoy or just other mods that haven't made it into the pack yet um, used to be able to just overwrite the current files and leave all the other files alone but that causes a lot of problems so I don't blame Aslan for getting rid of it and I personally have never done any kind of install that wasn't a clean install just due to the fact that I know what kind of bugs and other problems pop up from that uh, the next option here is backup session stats cache if you're using Loxton session stats or Yazin Crazen session stats which usually pop up in the uh, notification center in World of Tanks after each battle um, or all your battles you know you can keep track of that stuff some people let it run for weeks at a time or months at a time I'm personally one of those people I run it for the day I see how I do for the day then I reset it the next morning when I start to play again if you're in the middle of your day and you don't wish to lose your stats click backup session stats cache it'll save that for you if you don't really care about it just leave it unticked because in some cases this option can cause problems um, the next one is remove contents from the download cache folder that is going to be this folder right here Aslan's download cache where he downloads all of the mods that he's going to be installing for you I always clear that out that way I get the most current mods available and we know exactly that it's up to date all right so next is uh, remove contents of world of tank cache folder may fix some issues but as it states there will reset all of your game settings to default so you're gonna have to go in any hot keys that you've said or uh, key bindings I should say they're all gonna be default again so you need to go through make sure all your sound settings are right all your video settings are right the whole nine yards so as long as you typically stick with clean install remove contents of cache you're good to go uh, go ahead and click next it's gonna confirm you want to download that or clear that cache click yes 
gives you a brief synopsis of what's going to happen. You don't have to read this because we know you're not going to anyway. Then click install. Now at this point it is actually downloading all the files that were in that download cache folder. Again, to make sure that they're the most up-to-date ones in case any of them were updated, their names weren't changed, which is why I do it. Now one thing I want to point out here is you see the speed, you know, not that great, 2 megabits, 1.9 megabits, whatever. The speed varies. I've had this thing hit 8 megabits down. I've had it crawl at 20K. Uh, don't go to the shout box or the forum for Aslan's and bitch about it. It's not his fault. Um, yeah, you can see it kind of slow down right here. So what this is is basically all the files are hosted on the server. If the server is heavily loaded or there's network interference between you and the server or your own bandwidth is just playing garbage, you're going to get sporadic speeds. Um, so again, it all depends on where the host files are, are hosted at. So not Aslan's problem, not his at all. So stop bitching about it. Uh, speaking of other problems, a lot of those mods in the list of mods that are available weren't developed by Aslan. Don't go bitching about shit that he needs to fix. He has basically bundled a bunch of available mods for ease of installation to make life a lot simpler for you guys that just don't know how to do stuff because you barely can use a computer. Not that I'm insulting you. I'm just saying he's made it really simple for you. Okay. Uh, so if there's something that's going on like with the reticules and the reload timers, well, you know what? He can't fix that. That has to be fixed by the developers at either World of Gaming, because it's a problem server side for them, or it's most likely, in my opinion, a problem with the people that develop the sites with their Python files and their Flash files that were compiled to be used, such as, um, you know, unfortunately, um, Melty's math mod is a huge one uh, that's got a problem with it. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, it's installed all the mods and it's extracted. Now you see this big one here that says extracting mod 1.7z. That is going through and extracting those custom mod files that I had in that Aslam's custom mod directory. And if you rename your mod zip files to mod 1, mod 2, mod 3, and throw them in there, it will install those for you as well. And this one's going to take a little bit. As I mentioned, it's 1.6 gigs. It's a... Uh, Modified version of shocks and Drax, uh, HD resolution textures for the game. Makes the game absolutely beautiful. If you have a decent rig, I highly suggest finding that um, mod and installing it. Just wonderful, wonderful visuals in the game. And then uh, it's going to go through. It's going to take a little bit of time to extract it because it's a pretty huge file. Moving everything into place. So that's why I'm just kind of rambling on like a crazy man. At this point, it's a good time to, you know, go smoke a bowl, get a beer, shot of whiskey, whatever the fuck makes you happy. Or just simply go take a leak or, you know, if you're quick enough, go bang the bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, just whatever it takes to stall some time for a little bit. And then uh, eventually you'll come back to it and it'll be all done and finished and you'll be ready to go. So... In the meantime, uh, I do have several mods available. Uh, the Stewie Griffin mod, uh, Six Sense with multiple sounds, a uh, Captain Picard facepalm mod uh, with red alert sound. Uh, the one that I'm installing today is going to be the Six Sense uh, Stay High with Tally sound. Want to get high? You know, everybody knows that. At least if you're a stoner, you know that. And, um,. You know, I have a couple login screens that completely modify things, uh, so hopefully I can get those into some mod packs. If not, I'll have to host them on some sites or something for anybody who wants to try them out, to check them out. I think you guys will appreciate those. So we moved on to mod 3, mod 4, and eventually be mod 5 since that's all I have in there, and then it'll be finished. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how to install these mods manually as well. Uh, just so you kind of get an idea. So we're going to click finish here. Now the other thing that a lot of people don't seem to get, and I'm just going to check this. I normally don't check visit mod XVM site, but if this is one of your first times running it or you don't pay attention to the readme files and you're having problems with your win chance ratio, um, I'll show you how to fix that. Now you may get this set up on install stop work. Just click close the program. Doesn't fucking matter. It worked. Uh, here's an opportunity to donate to Aslan. If you appreciate all the work that he does, go ahead and donate. Uh, I threw him $25 myself today just because he included my mod kit, and I use his mod pack quite heavily. And any mods that I build are based upon his mod kit to make installation easier. Uh, so here we can see we have the um, XVM site. You're going to need to go in here. You're going to want to log in. 
your particular server first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click update statistics just because and I'm gonna click prolong and what you'll see here in this case is activate service or add client or something like that so you want to make sure that's hit now to fix your win percent go to settings these two options chance to win and chance to win live are unchecked by default you need to go in and check these two options in order for that shit to start working once you've done that, you're good to go. Log into your game and your shit should be fine. And with that said, that pretty much completes the Aslan install. So let's say, for example, you already have all that installed and you want to install one of my Sixth Sense mods and you want to do it manually. Um, you don't have to rename anything. We'll just go with Legendary Stoner Stay High Sixth Sense. We're going to open up this file to extract it. Now it can be in a rare file, zip file, seven zip file, whatever format that the container is you just extract the contents from inside now uh, when you open this up you're gonna see res underscore mods hey that's a very popular folder in the world of tanks folder how do we get this in there well we don't have to do jack shit because if most mod makers will set it up so you just extract right into your world of tanks directory and that's exactly what we're gonna do so I'm going to select C column backslash games backslash world of tanks which happens to be where my world of tanks director is now in here you can see the Aslam's custom mods and hey look there's the res mod folder which is exactly what we're going to be copying into or at least replacing some files so once you have that selected just click OK it'll ask you if you want to rename some of these you can click yes to each file to verify it's one you definitely want to uh, either replace or rename uh, I'm going to replace all these files and I'm just gonna click yes to all to make life pretty fucking simple um, and that's it you do that with any type of mod, whether it's the Angel Wing Nuke mod, any of my Six Sense mods, my login screens, other people's mods that you get off the internet. Uh, NexusMods.com, I think, has a bunch of them. Uh, Curses, I think, is another one, just to name a couple out there. They're all over the place, and there's a lot of cool ones. There's a lot of shit ones, but that's exactly how you install them is by putting them into your Res Mods folder. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, if not, keep searching YouTube. There's other videos on how to install Aslan's mod. Uh, this one's a little more up to date to include the fact that they have that clean install. And I haven't really seen a, a video that covered the Aslan's custom uh, mod folder either to add your own mods automatically. So thanks for watching and have a great day.